Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. Let's go ahead and read uh, this word problem and then we'll take a look at the graph. Researchers wanted to see the relationship between sleep problems and memory. So we have a relationship between a couple of variables. They conducted an experiment where students were kept awake for a certain number of hours, then asked to take a memory test. The data is plotted on the scatter plot below, with hours awake plotted on the horizontal axis. So horizontal means left, right, so this is hours awake. Oh my gosh, some poor student was left awake almost 80 hours. That would be miserable. Um, and test score uh, plotted on the vertical axis. So here is their test score on that memory test. Um, according to the scatter plot, and that's what kind of a graph this is, this is known as a scatter plot. You can recognize that by all the dots thrown all over it. That's literally what they mean by scatter plot. It looks like a bunch of dots have been scattered on it. Do hours spent awake and test scores have a positive correlation, a negative correlation, or no correlation? So a correlation is just a relationship between variables. It means that as one thing changes another thing is affected so we're trying to figure out if basically staying awake affects your memory okay now um so if you if the answer to that is no being awake doesn't affect your memory then the idea is there'd be no correlation um but um, if the answer is yes there's two types of correlation there's positive correlation and negative correlation Now, what's the idea here? The idea behind positive correlation is that as one of the um, variables goes up, it increases, the other one increases as well. Again, I'll say as one increases, the other increases as well. Great example of this is studying in test scores. The more you study, um, the more your test score will likely go up. These two things have a positive correlation. They go up at the same time. Okay, a negative correlation doesn't mean they both go down at the same time. Don't get that mistaken because if the two things go down at the same time, they also go up at the same time, okay? So that's another example of positive correlation. If they're both going down at the same time, they're still positively correlated. They have the same kind of relationship. But negative correlation means that as one goes up, the other one goes down. Great example of this is the temperature and the amount of clothes we wear. As the temperature goes up, we wear less and less clothes as a rule. <laughs> Not always, it depends what culture you're in. But at least here in the United States, you know, we tend to have on a lot less layers of clothes when it's hot. So as the temperature goes up, the amount of clothes that I wear goes down. So that's the idea of negative correlation. They're still related, but as one thing increases, the other decreases. Now, the nice thing is you can spot positive correlation and negative correlation pretty easily on a graph. Positive correlation is going to look like a line that goes up. Negative correlation is going to look like a line that goes down. A no correlation is either going to be flat line or no line at all. And so let's come over here to this graph. Now, these dots are not exactly in a line, but they're close to a line. You could draw a line right through the middle of these dots. We call that the line of best fit. And you could see that if you did draw a line right through the middle of those dots, it's basically going down. And so we definitely have negative correlation on this graph. Awesome. Okay, that was a really quick summation of correlation. Um, but if you have any questions of, about that, make sure that you drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to clear them up. And look out for some question the days in the future where we might see some, we'll see some examples of both positive correlation and graphs with no correlation. Until next time.